Police are hoping to get some help with an unsolved murder. A man from Stowe, a father of two, shot and killed. Tonight, investigators are releasing new information about the case. Ralph Iannotti has more from police and from the victim's wife. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much, Ken. Did the victim know the gunman in this case? Well, it certainly sounds possible. Police here say the victim was killed a short distance from where he and his wife lived with their two young children in Stowe Township. I know my husband and he didn't deserve this. It's been about two and a half months since Jennifer Monty of Stowe Township lost her husband in a shooting. 42-year-old Robert Monty was brazenly gunned down in broad daylight on January 28th of this year. He was found lying in the street in the 1100 block of Broadway Avenue. It happened only a couple of blocks from where the Montys lived with her two small children, a three-year-old girl and 10-year-old boy. My 10-year-old, you know, he talks, you know, he's, he was scared to come home for quite some time. You know, he, he doesn't understand, you know, and he shouldn't have to. Investigators are now releasing new information in the case, which we're hearing about for the first time. It involves this dark gray Ford Focus sedan. Detectives want to talk to the owner and driver of the car. Investigation by the county police detectives revealed that Mr. Monty had entered a vehicle prior to him being shot. Uh, a witness described the vehicle and municipal surveillance cameras caught the vehicle on camera, leaving the scene at a high rate of speed. Jennifer Monty describes her husband as a devoted father. She says she and the children are still trying to cope with the reality of what happened on that cold Sunday afternoon. It's numbing at first. You know, it's hard to even take that in and really comprehend it for what it is. He truly was a good person, and, and I just couldn't have prepared for this anyway. And Monty says she has a message she wants to get out. I, I want this person in custody uh, for, you know, I, I feel like it's owed to my husband, you know, that they catch him. Who's to say, you know, he's not going to do it again. Now, if you recognize the car or perhaps know who the owner is, Pittsburgh Crime Stoppers would like to hear from you. Their number is 412-255-8477. Of course, you can re remain anonymous and there is a reward. We're live tonight at Allegheny County Police Headquarters. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News on Pittsburgh CW.